What are the five pricing myths to avoid when selling your home? Well, that's what we're talking about today and we're starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada with the O'Hare team at Urban Nest Realty. You can learn more about us by visiting our website, theohareteamlv.com. So today we're talking about the five common pricing myths to avoid when you're selling your home. Pricing your own home is hard. What with the history and all the hopes that magical number entails. Too many home sellers fall prey to the myths of pricing that makes sense at first, but doesn't jibe with the reality of the real estate markets today. Here are five common myths that you'll want to avoid. Number one, you always make money when you sell your home. Yeah, sure, real estate appreciates over time. But selling your home for more than you paid by no means is a given. And your return on investment vary greatly based on where you live. So do not assume that you will walk away with a profit until you've examined your market first. Number two, price your house high to make some big bucks. We know what you're thinking. Hey, it's worth a shot. But if you start with some sky high asking price, you'll soon come down to earth when you realize that overpricing a home just does not sell. While the payday might sound very appealing, you're actually sacrificing the best marketing time in exchange for the remote possibility that someone will overpay for your home. Number three, if your home's overpriced, it's no big deal to lower it later. Sorry, but overpricing your home is not easily fixed by lowering it later on. The reason is homes that have lingered on the market for months or that have undergone numerous price reductions may seem like to the buyers that there's something wrong with the house. As such, they might even stay clear of your house or offer an even lower price than what you're asking now. Bottom line is this, price your home appropriately at the beginning for your best shot at having a quick and easy sell. Number four, pricing your home low means you won't make much money. Similarly, sellers are often leery of pricing their home on the low end. But as counterintuitive as this may seem, this strategy could pay off big time. Here's why. Low price homes drum up a lot of interest, which could result in a bidding war on your home and could drive up your home's price beyond your wildest dreams. Last, number five, you can add the cost of any renovations you made. Let's say you overhauled your kitchen and a patio. It stands to reason that whatever money you paid for those improvements, you'll get recouped at the end when you sell. The reality, while your renovations might see some return on investment, you rarely recoup the entire amount. On average, you can expect to get about 64% of every dollar you spend on home improvements. Pricing a home for sale is as much art as science, but there are few truisms that never change. Fair market value attracts buyers. Overpricing does not. The first two weeks of marketing are crucial. The market never lies, but it can change its mind. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning all things real estate in the Las Vegas Valley. And remember, if you or anyone you know is thinking about buying or selling in Las Vegas, have them give me a call at 702-370-5112. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.